very center of your page. Now go down and to the left corner just a little bit to paint a white smile shape. This will be the middle of your morning glory flower. Use lots of white paint to fill in the smile shape and then extend the edges over the side like wings. Rainbow shape on the left and on the right. If the paint is nice and thick and wet, then when we put the pink over and blend it back in, it should blend so nice and softly. The center of that white will always be the center of our flower. So every brush stroke will lead back in towards the middle there. Keep blending back and forth until it looks very soft. Feel free to put back more white or more pink. Again, when the paint is wet, it's much easier to blend. And if you need to, you can even use your fingers to come back and smudge the edges for a little extra soft shading. Start with the lightest colors in the middle and slowly add in darker and darker colors as you reach the outer edges. So now I'll continue with a little darker pink and I'm going to spread curved lines outwards from the top of my flower. I'm going to concentrate on doing the top first and then I'll blend the bottom later. But you can see as I add the dark, I'm going to come back and I'm going to try to blend that back in with the pinks and the whites that I already have, making everything very soft and very blended. Using my purple, I'm going to do some curves across the corner edges so I know where my flower ends. So two of these I'll just do simple rainbow shapes and then two of them I'll do a double bump or like a little scallop just to show a little more interesting edge. Place purple paint in between the strokes of pink paint and keep going in the same direction, all the lines heading outwards from the middle. Come back and blend all those edges together. If you need to add back more pink, that's fine. Once you're happy with the top, I'm gonna to take a purple and make a nice scoop underneath the white, careful and clean, before then making more purples that head outwards and downwards, just like the top, but always coming out from the center. With an image like this, you can paint and repaint, blend and re-blend all day long but you're looking for a certain level of finish and evenness across the whole thing. Is every area of the flower blended to the same level? If it's raw and loose, just make sure there's raw and looseness on the other side of the flower also. If the white becomes too dark, you may need to let it dry and then come back to add super clean white at the very end. Finish by painting the corners any color. 